Morning everybody, welcome to Solo React Talk. This morning I'm going to be reacting to Pro Postal Paradise Lost Thursday made on the CV11 YouTube channel. If you guys want to check out my previous reactions to the other Pro Postal uh, weekday videos and also the Paradise Lost weekday videos, <laughs> remember that the playlist link is going to be at the top right here. Just click on it and, and you'll be able to access them. If you want to check out the original video as well as CV11's YouTube channel, the links are going to be in the description below. Okay, let's start. Three, two, one, go. definition of insanity is insanity is doing the exact same fucking thing sign this petition or i'll follow you home and kill your dog over and over again you better tell me right now what you know about this dog or i'll follow you home and kill your dog yeah definitely the postal man here he's insane he's insane <laughs> insanity Shit to change. Who's a bitch now, Gary? <laughs> the chain car isn't doing anything. Nothing personal, man. Nothing personal, man. Yo, the set is done. What? Crap, today was a complete bust. Even if I find Champ, what am I supposed to do about his supposed radioactive condition? You are still looking for Champ. Wow. You know, I don't even think this dog is alive anymore. But, you know, hope. That, that's all we have left. Just hope. You know, I completely forgot about Champ. Yes. <laughs> I completely forgot about Champ on Tuesday, I think. Yeah, on Tuesday. That's when I, um, uh, uh, you know, when the postman was still looking for Champ. And that's when I realized that, you know, that's what... Paradise Lost is about. We're still looking for Champ. And we still haven't found Champ. We found other dogs, but they're not Champ. Yeah. Hmm. It is kind of weird to not oh, have... Tall one. Look, guys, I've had a day, okay? Can you just leave me alone? The time is now ours, the blessed pine size, to rise from the depths and overthrow those who tower above us. And you shall be the first of many sacrifices in our holy war against the tall. Okay... I guess everybody's getting in on the jihads these days. I'm just passing through these parts to find and cure my highly irradiated dog from his mutant form. You speak of the legendary El Perro Loco? He El Perro -ro Loco? <laughs> okay. He wishes to cure the beast of his colossal form. To take what is big and make it small. He must be one of us. Come with us. At dawn tomorrow, you shall meet with our leader who is sure to lend his aid in your quest. Oh, it's Gary. Hi, Gary. Don't you know who I am? Man, you don't die. Nobody, nobody in this town dies. Nobody. We are Big Mick Willis. We are leader of the cold and a group of extraordinary individuals imbued with unique and exotic stature. Oh Christ, what is this now? What do you want? We call you today to aid you in quest to find El Perro Loco. El Perro Loco. I've killed Gary so many times now that he should have the same kind of grudge against me that Al-Qaeda does. Snitches get stitches, bitch. Okay, simple enough. Three objectives. Grab the cure. Get some mechanical stilts. We require new technology to even stature on battlefield against the tall ones. Yeah, somebody's never played his odd job. What else we got? We will strike great blow against the tall ones by subverting their entertainment. Crush their karaoke entertainment here. Sabotage karaoke? That sounds fun. I'm gonna dick around in the open world for a while because it's Thursday, and that should unlock some more powerful weaponry, I think. I hope. I have the worst feeling about today, kids. I don't know what it is, but something evil lurks in this town. And that stuff always falls on my shoulders. Always. I'll Aren't you the evil in this town? <laughs> Kaida, butchers, the postal service, zombies. Yeah, okay, yeah, there's a lot more evil in this town, but you are one of the main players. <laughs> it's always my problem. Everybody gets upset when I nuke the place to deal with this stuff. Okay, sure, let's look at what's behind Lucky Ganesh. Ow. So that's what that feels like. Oh, okay, a snowman centipede. Gotta turn that yellow. Now the flowers will grow. 
My dealer's house is a lot nicer now. He's moved up in the world. And the person is different. Hey, mister. Got any spare pussy cats? Hey. Why did you... Why... You know what? Never mind. Hey, asshole. What about cash for drugs? Now I can't feel my legs. Okay, so I buy some drugs from the vending machine. The weapon vendor has revolver ammo in it now, so that's nice. Welcome to the town of paradise. So I get to demonstrate how this works, partners. Hold all fire when this meter is full enough to perform auto-aim executions. Who's got the guts to play for blood? Damn, here I was minding my business just enjoying my second amendment rights. And you people have to freak out on me. I never showed you guys this in other pro postal videos, which- No, no, I know what's gonna happen. I know what's gonna happen. We've seen this before. This is a serious oversight on my part, but thankfully this works with lawmen as well as cops, where you can lead them around with donuts. Hmm. Hmm. Good. Oh, okay, that's different. Oh, I, I thought <laughs> I thought you were just gonna show us the, the you know the garden scissors, but you know, leading policemen with donuts, that's different, definitely. And then if you piss on the donut Hmm. Hmm. I, I don't <laughs> edged weapon. Someone could lose a limb. <laughs> yeah. Since I'm here, I might as well hit the robotics factory. This company refurbed the old napalm factory, and I guess they made the vendicure that treated my gonorrhea. But it just gives me a crack pipe this time. I'm not complaining, that's great. So far, no problem. Haven't even had to kill anyone, I just grabbed the stilts. I'm sure nothing terrible will happen. And done. I am the Vendicure Model XJ2. Please step forward and you're an aide. Oh my gosh. Why? Why Why does the robot have a you don't know hole? Uh, okay. Take care. Where were you planning on going to lunch? Thanks for the urine. Jeez. Good God, that is disgusting. Let's tear this meat bag a new piss hole. Executing pissed off robot mode sequence. I'll flush you up, Terminator. The robots are rebelling. Uh All right, let's ammo up and take care of business. I'm not letting Skynet take over on my watch. Yeah. <laughs> if anybody's gonna turn this town into an apocalyptic nuclear wasteland, again, it's gonna be me. Now that I think about it, these robots are specifically designed to deal with human urine. I mean, you know. Yeah, but then why do they have wheels and why do they have arms and a head? They should just be you know, plant stuck on the wall. They don't need to be moving around. This was unnecessary. They wasted money here. And now they are going to suffer for their incompetence and their wasteful expenditure. Oh, it couldn't hurt. Have you been eating asparagus? <laughs> Urine collection sequence complete. <laughs> yeah, Huck, I hope, yeah, I, don't I, don't hope I don't rust. Tell my wife I... You have a wife? You just pee in my mouth. Tell my wife I. Nah. Are you just eating asparagus? So not only does pissing on them disable the robots, they drop prizes. We get to rock out with our cock out. <laughs> Why are you laughing? No one's impressed. I disable every single robot by pissing on it. Sure, I lose a ton of health and smoke a bunch of crack, but if the thing's worth doing, it's worth doing right. There's even a vending machine in the middle of this map to stock up on water. 16 should do it. Does this count as playing pacifist? You pissing your wife's mouth that way? You just pee in my mouth? Wait, I forgot. What was the purpose of them creating these machines? What was the purpose again? To test what exactly? And why so many of them?
two. I think that was the last of them. I'll unlock the door now. What an adventure, huh, kids? Oh, that's funny. Why is the junkyard still open? Usually those places get closed off after I offend the faction there. Did I say offend? I meant completely wipe out. So what's, uh... Oh. Feels right to get that bitch's sword. She got the house. I like sword. That's a personal weapon. Just call me Ginsu. Ah! Oh my gosh. I don't know why this sword is so fun. It's not even as quick as the machete. It has a slightly longer range, I guess. Oh, well. But it looks like it just clean. It's a clean cut compared to all the other melee uh, based weapons. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'm just biased, but it looks cool. Good times were had by all. Let's see what an actual drug dealer is up to. Not some pussy statue squatting in a well-respected crack dealer's house. Yo! Hmm. I'm okay. I'm sorry, but you need more money. Yeah! Pick him up! Show wing. Lucky these things are stainless. Oh. Oh gosh. Part of being a pro postal player is going to areas you've been to on previous days and expecting a different result. I mean, finding different stuff. You know, there's nothing helpful in the now zombie controlled church, but it looks like there's a fresh grave in the cemetery. That's odd. I guess I'll pee on it again. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. What? Man. No. What are you? Fuck it's... this. I'm done. I'm going on to the next Aaron. That is fucked. What was that? Hi there. I'm in the market for some noxious, unregulated chemicals. Please take a number and wait until it's your turn to be served. We're supposed to wait in line to get into this chemical factory, and I don't give a shit if there's an achievement for waiting. I'm not doing it. I'm just gonna walk in. This lady doesn't do anything about it. Yeah, fuck you. You better not be here when I get back. Oh, look. Rednecks. What are they doing? Watch it, Jimmy Joe Bob. You can't go around damaging the inventory like that. Those city folk could grow wise to the fact that we ain't producing real chemicals. Oh, lighten up, Lester. It's not like those dumb yuppie boys can tell the difference between our brew and their fancy pants chemicals. Hey, who's that guy? It's death. Prepare yourselves. Huh? It's like a reverse of the Wednesday mission in Postal 2 where you wear the gimp suit. Not this time, you inbred cousin fuckers. You think it's so easy you're just gonna whack me in the head with a shovel and shanghai my inventory? Fuck off with that shit. <laughs> Got it. Oh! Yeah, nice hit. Quick, grab whatever he has. Ah, damn. What the hell just happened? No, they took the katana sword. Looks like some helpful townsfolk decided to lighten your load for you. Without the pesky hassle of asking you first, of course. Square... Fucking one. I have to get across town with nothing. With game devs and gingers after me. Great. Perfect. I can't find crack fast enough and my addiction breaks. Ah. Withdraw as a bitch. I forgot. Can you use your fists to fight against, you know, other people? I don't think I've actually seen it. Or if I have, I've forgotten. Because, you know, <laughs> CV11 is always using weapons. So, yeah. Maybe you can just use your fists to fight. That's it, fuckers! You call down the thunder! They're holed up in the old post office. I'm at a serious disadvantage. I've only got the supplies I was able to scrape up on the way there. Those raiders took everything. Even that nice sword I just got. They fuck with the wrong dude. I've been massacring factions in this town since before they were a gleam in the developer's eye. Yep. You think I won't kill a whole place full of raiders over a sword? I mean, it would only be the second time in a month I've done that. Man, there's a lot of them.
it's not the katana but the machete is also doing a good job actually <laughs> There she is. Well, you know, I was just having so much fun going after this sword, murdering all those raiders, pissing on robots. I forgot about karaoke at Fire in the Hole. Fire in the Hole. Darling, sweetie, sweetie, darling. How are you, pumpkin? Are you talking to Postalman? Oh. Fuck. I forgot. I forgot about. No, please, don't do the song again. Oh, hey, Cindy. My ears were burning. Yeah, my fucking bone marrow is burning. What do you want, Cancer Mouse? Well, I just wanted to talk about the special guest in this postal expansion. It's Milo Yiannopoulos. And when I run out of bread, I laugh all the way to the bank. Well, excuse you. You know what I say? Old ways are the best ways. That's why we do these things again Slow and again. Oh, uh, yeah, fire in the hole, definitely. And again. And again. And again. Oops, I nuked you again. I pressed the button. Wiped out society. Yes, I'm. I like how he's dancing with the katanas. Like, <laughs> like, this guy's crazy. Done here. Better check with Gary and see if the little guy will stay true to his word. All right, Gary. He probably won't, but let's see. Prepare to meet Kali in hell. Oh, okay. Hand no mechanicals. This delicate procedure. Please provide silence as we must concentrate. The cure is complete. Use syringe on El Perro Loco to return him to small size. Great journey lies ahead for you. Us Coleman will now prepare for war against the Tall Ones. You guys, I've already killed so many people today. It's not a good idea. It's just not. I thought maybe Gary would betray you right here, but no. You know, a deal is a deal. Who control Coleman? Still warm. Hey, you went to all that trouble to get that cure. It'd be a waste if you left without checking to make sure the damn thing's even effective. I wonder Again, what or who controls coal mine. Hmm, you got a point. I can't leave until I'm certain this cure works. Uh, I'd stick your syringe into that big guy. Just the tip. You're squeamish. Nah, he's gonna come back. He's gonna come back. I think this might be the last time we ever see Gary, kids. I've I highly doubt that. A feeling he's gone for good this time. Too bad Big McWillis is still hanging around, just a little smaller. I'm gonna call him Little Mac. He takes a ton of hits for someone so small. <laughs> another day down the crapper. At least I've got a cure to treat Champ's radioactive condition. But I still haven't found him yet. I don't suppose I'll be able to manage that on my own. So I wonder what crazy homicidal faction I'll run into next. Oh, we're just, uh, we're just saying this now. A, an Islamic terrorist with marijuana t-shirt on? <laughs> okay. And another one with the peace sign, and the other guy, I'm not sure what is he wearing on, but okay. Wow. Alright, let's get this over with. 
Please, put down your weapon. I mean you no harm. Your faith will be mistaken, as Al-Qaeda is a peace-loving group, loving of all races and creeds. We only wish to support our fellow men in the times of need. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds beautiful, Osama. A new path. A nice, peaceful place where we all belong. Where everyone is cared for. Where we heal the sick. Where we feed the starving. Where we help each other. Just end this and shoot them already. Paradise. But that's commie shit, so I'm gonna burn this mother down. Again. Alright, <laughs> yeah guys, that's it with Proposal Paradise Lost uh, Thursday on the CV11 YouTube channel. And yeah, we're still looking for Champ, we're still on the search for Champ, and now we have a cure for Champ created by Gary Coleman, and he's... Well, yeah, you could say they're a cult, a cult of short people. <laughs> uh, and they want to go, you know, up against the tall people. I, I don't understand their line of thinking but yeah um gary coleman has helped you know the postal guy get the syringe that's going to be uh, curing champ of his mutation radiation mutation and yeah we just have to find the dog now but it seems like there's a new cult that's come into existence we're not sure who are these people exactly they look like al-qaeda terrorists but then they've got uh, marijuana t-shirts and they've got the peace sign t-shirt on them and yeah it, they just look like an amalgamation of different cults <laughs> into one so yeah we'll just see what happens on Pope postal paradise last friday and see how it goes uh, for the postal man but yeah what we've seen here in terms of how to uh, create traps for policemen by throwing donuts on the floor or pissing on one donut and uh, they eat it i don't know why do they think it's a good thing to eat a donut that's on the floor uh, you know let alone a donut that's smelling of urine but you know they eat it <laughs> they vomit out and they're a perfect uh, target for you know postal postal man or, pest, or postal guy or postal dude uh, to take them out and yeah we also got to revisit a robotics factory where they are building robots that have got a you know a urinary hole in the middle and I, I, honestly i don't understand why are they creating machines like that for what you know what is it for <sighs> but anyways uh this is paradise anything and everything happens here for no particular reason or logic behind it it's just there um and yeah we've got to also visit fire in the hole uh the club <laughs> uh, i like how <laughs> i like how cv11 threw those um cocktail bottles down to the dance floor and everything was just burning uh down there and really it was fire in the hole essentially um but yeah this was fun this was really fun and just bizarre really especially with those robots with those robots with the uh unary hole those things were just weird i don't know why were those things created yeah but guys that's it remember if you want to check out the original video as well as cv11's youtube channel the links are going to be in the description below if you like my reaction please give me a like comment and subscribe to my channel click on the notification bell if you want to be up to date with my latest videos and i'll see you guys hopefully next week okay bye, -bye.